Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 68 years since the iconic TV series Gunsmoke 1955 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of Gunsmoke. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. Milburn Stone graced the screen as the character Doc, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 51 during the 1955 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on June 12, 1980, due to a heart attack at the age of 75 in La Jolla, San Diego, California. I can't tell yet, Chester. Can you tell me? Kitty, if I could tell you, I could, I could tell me. I see. She said, yeah, I want to go to the Benson's Pro. Wow. And all of a sudden, there was another landing by supply. In 1955, Amanda Blake graced a screen with her portrayal of the character, Kitty, a role she brought to life at the age of 26. It is with heavy hearts that we recall August 16, 1989, when she sadly departed at the age of 60 in Sacramento, California, following a battle with age-related hepatitis. the show we knew just exactly what we wanted to do with it and we wanted to leave the relationship a mystery so that the audience could use their own imagination in 1955 dennis weaver graced a screen with his portrayal of the character chester a role he brought to life at the age of 31 it is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on february 24 2006 due to complications from cancer at the age of 81 in Ridgeway, Colorado. Well, that's, that's that medal that she wore around her neck. What's it for? Well, it's, it's a, a Spanish coin, you see. A... Um, but anyway, uh, he did, and uh, <laughs> I remember, I uh, remember that, you know, you have to sign a contract about the money. In 1955, James Arness graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Matt Dillon, a role he brought to life at the age of 32. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on June 3rd, 2011, he left us due to natural causes at the age of 88 in Los Angeles, California. Well, I don't remember everything, but uh, I kind of got the idea you were pretty fond of her. Well, I recommended me for it and um went over there and i think he put in a real pitch for me and uh because you know uh, i don't know glenn strange graced the screen as the character sam cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 62 during the 1961 filming it is with heavy hearts that we recall september 20th 1973 when he sadly departed at the age of 74 in los angeles california following a battle with lung cancer. I owe everybody here an apology, and I guess a lot of other folks, too. I really do. Oh, Doc, it's not your fault. You meet an old friend. You could turn gang greeny for you could say, right, run over the roof to house a piece of raw liver in his mouth. In 1967, Buck Taylor graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Newly, a role he brought to life at the age of 29. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 85-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. That cute little Tillman girl lives. What's her name, Abby? That's what I tell her. Now, Doc, you wouldn't do that. Well, maybe I ought to. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Good heavens. You know, they're, they're very talented. You have to do all those nowadays to be stuck, man. And, of course, the fights, jump around the buildings, and, you know, the fun. Ken Curtis graced a screen as the character Festus, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 43 during the 1959 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on April 28, 1991, he left us due to a heart attack in his sleep at the age of 74 in Fresno, California. If you wouldn't, you would be. It just proves how wrong you are about being in bed all stoked. 
uh, Minner got himself kind of pickled on that hooch, and then the, the trout uh, saw him as a tastier dish, huh? No, no, that ain't it. See, what a dish. Burt Reynolds graced the screen as the character, Quint, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 26 during the 1962 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on September 6, 2018, due to a heart attack at the age of 82 in Jupiter, Florida. So, Edgy, why don't you go out and work it off some place? Well, how would you suggest that I do that? Well, you might go out and arrest somebody and drag them back in here and stick them in the cell till they rot. <laughs> Water, no matter what I say. Well, she was seven when I fell in love with her. She still... In 1956, James Neusser graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Louis Feeders, a role he brought to life at the age of 51. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on June 6, 1979, due to natural causes at the age of 74 in Los Angeles, California. Anyway, Clara told me about it afterwards, and it was this man that killed Bart, not you, Louis. Well, I'll be done. In 1957, Clem Fuller graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Clem, a role he brought to life at the age of 49. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on May 24, 1961, he left us due to cancer at the age of 52 in Hollywood, California. Share your favorite character from the TV series Gunsmoke with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon.